and preserve birds and their habitats through conservation, rehabilitation, education, and advocacy. We took a visit to the World Bird Sanctuary in Valley Park, which was founded in 1977 and is now located in 305 acres of Missouri Forest and home to more than 200 animals. Take a look. World Bird Sanctuary has been around since 1977. We weren't always called World Bird Sanctuary. We used to be known as the Raptor Rehabilitation and Propagation Project. Uh, but when we saw it to World Bird Sanctuary, um, it kind of refocused our mission and what we do here. There's a bunch of different stuff we do at the sanctuary, but it's mostly rehabilitation of injured birds of prey, everything from hawks and owls and eagles and vultures and falcons, to conservation work, um, breeding endangered species such as vultures or um, in the past even barn owls and eagles, and then of course education, teaching people all about these wonderful animals that they can find right in their own backyards. <laughs> So when you come and visit the sanctuary, you're gonna see that we sit on about 300 acres of beautiful Missouri hardwood forest. There's lots of wild animals around here. We have lots of bird feeders um, and critters that are snuffling around our main area. Um, you can see lots of animals that are gonna be out on public display. Animals like native species, maybe some owls like screech owls or barn owls, red-tailed hawks, um, but also some non-native species. We have a spectacled owl named Usmal who's out right now. Those animals are from South America. You can see some kind of rare species that you wouldn't otherwise get to see when you visit the sanctuary too. Then Depending on the time of year, you might see a snowy owl or an Egyptian vulture um, out on display, but we have lots of animals out here. I think at present, it's over 40 different animals they can see on public display. Where should we put that, Aesop? That's right, it goes right in our recycling bin. Nice job. You can give her a round of applause. On weekends, we do shows here at the sanctuary, weather permitting. It's not storming or way too hot at 1 p.m. Um, on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. You can come down to our amphitheater where you can meet some of our animal ambassadors up close. Animal ambassador is an animal that's trained to educate the public. Um, so those animals might be sitting out on the glove or they might even be flying right over your head. So it's pretty fun. Nice job, Miss. My favorite part about working here is probably getting to work with the kids. Um, lots of people have a love of nature when they're young, but that's not always something they know how to keep when they get older. And if I do my job right here, and if they get inspired by the animals they get to meet, then it's something that they can carry with them for the rest of their life. We have lots of events throughout the year here at the sanctuary, whether that's Owloween, where we celebrate some of our spooky neighbors, or um, coming up more recently on September 2nd, we have International Vulture Awareness Day, where we're celebrating Mother Nature's cleanup crew. Um, they might seem a little yucky, but they're really, really important to our ecosystem. So that will be September 2nd. But these animals really do an important service for us. You're looking at Mother Nature's garbage man right here. And the sanctuary is open pretty much every day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, with exceptions of like Christmas and Thanksgiving. But you can always check online to make sure that we're open. If there's any inclement weather, like <laughs> ice in the wintertime, we not, might not be open as well, so you can always double check. Um, but it's you can come walk around, see the animals. We do ask for $12 per car on admission. That goes directly towards the care and feeding of our animals here at the sanctuary. We have close to 200 permanent resident birds from all across the globe, so um, it goes towards feeding those animals. You can find us at World Bird Sanctuary on Facebook, on Instagram, we're pretty active too. Um, we like to post about our resident animal ambassadors as well as some cases from our rehabilitation hospital. That's something that you won't be able to see if you come visit the sanctuary. Those animals are behind the scenes getting better, so you don't always get to see those animals. So World Bird Sanctuary is located basically right on the intersection of Highway 141 and Highway 44, right in Valley Park. If you've driven to Lone Elk Park, the county park, you've driven right past our entrance. We love all of the birds here at World Bird Sanctuary, and we hope if you come out to visit, you'll end up loving them a whole bunch too. Good girl. The World Bird Sanctuary is a pretty incredible place, and if you're interested in checking out more of all that they do, you can head online to worldbirdsanctuary.org. Again, they're located in Valley Park, and they have, wow, an amazing animal show Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 1 p.m. And we'll make sure you have access to all of their information on our website at studiostl.tv.